I love it. Thank you for recording this very, very important message, which I hope and pray that you will always remember and that you will be blessed to understand and to someday hopefully help other people to be able to understand because it is an extremely important lesson. Today is Tuesday, September 2nd, 2014. And Isaiah chapter 45 Verse 1 says, This is what the Lord, of course, that's Yahweh, Jehovah, his personal name, or Elohim, as Jews refer to him, or Allah, as Muslims refer to him, says to his anointed, to Cyrus, who by the way happened to be a Persian king, Cyrus was not Jewish says to Cyrus, his anointed, whose right hand I take hold of. Verse 4 says, I summon you, Cyrus, by name, and bestow on you a title of honor, though you do not acknowledge me. And the study note for these verses, or for verse points out that Cyrus apparently worshipped the chief Babylonian god Marduk. So this is important because not only was Cyrus not Jewish, but Cyrus apparently did not even know or serve, certainly did not serve and worship the only true God. And yet, Jehovah anoint, chose and anointed Cyrus, a man, a leader of a foreign nation who was not even Jewish, not Jewish, and who did not even worship the only true God, Jehovah. And the reason that is so extremely important for us, especially today, is because we humans are extremely prejudiced and we are very, very quick. Most people are very quick to deny that someone that they don't that someone can actually be anointed by God or chosen by God for any reason if that person is not someone that they think God would choose. So very often people may assume that just because a person is not a member of their religion or of a particular religion or of a particular denomination that it is not possible that that person can really be anointed. And that is why these verses are extremely important to always remember and try stri strive to understand because God set a precedent here to remind us that He can choose whoever He wants according to His will even if that person is not someone that we think he would choose. And that's actually even one of the reasons why Jesus was not accepted by the Jewish religious leaders when he came to earth is because although he was Jewish, he was born into a very poor family and he did not do and say things that they expected the Messiah would do and say. And they assumed that he was not someone that God would actually choose when in fact he was God's own son. So again, we have to, we, we have to keep this verse in mind and these verses in mind and other examples of the Bible and the Bible and God's word, the Bible, to warn us that 
we cannot be prejudiced. And we cannot, cannot reject people and assume that they are not really servants of God and that they cannot be anointed or that they may not be pleasing to God just because they are not a member of a certain religion or a certain denomination. So I hope and pray that you will always keep this in mind and never judge anyone. And purge all forms and every degree of prejudice from within you and try to help other people to do the same. Because Jehovah can choose anyone he wants. And as these verses confirm, he does and has in the past and may continue to do exactly what he did with Cyrus. Choose and anoint someone who is totally different than we would expect God would actually choose and anoint. One other point in this regard to anointing. We also should not assume that someone would lose their anointing just because they commit certain sins. Because David, King David, committed some sins that were very serious and against Jehovah's will and against Jehovah's law. And, but David never lost his anointing. He remained Jehovah's anointed even after he committed very serious sins. But Saul was rejected by God because of the sins that he committed. But David, who seemed to have committed even more serious sins, was not rejected by God but was actually protected by him even though the sins that he committed were very, very serious and actually very clear and blatant violations of God's law. So again, please never judge people, never assume that someone cannot be anointed because they're different and don't seem to be the type of person that God would anoint, and never assume that someone who is anointed has automatically lost his anointing because he or she commits a sin or certain sins because even as David did, Jehovah may choose to continue to bless and anoint someone even if that person commits certain sins or very serious sins. So once again, the very important lesson is, is don't judge people. Purge prejudice from you. And keep in mind that Jehovah can choose and anoint and use anyone who he wants. And that's his choice. And we have to accept that. Okay? Thank you very much.